I think he would say the same. You know, he played well, but there's still some things that you got to clean up communication-wise and different things like that. But Coach Nivar and everybody else have done a great job with, with Kalen. You know, Kalen is, he's on his way, you know, but he still has a long ways to go. You know, things like that. He made a couple plays in open field, of course, tackling and everything. And, you know, he was just a guy who just was told he would start 24 hours before the game. Across the board, how close did that look to what you guys want this defense to look like? Uh, I mean, well, we we on guys, you know, uh, like Coach Orlando will always say, you know, dude on dudes. So we went ahead and damn near played man. We was pressing and we was locked up on guys. So hey, San Jose State's a real good team. So they did a couple things that created some problems for us and, you know, we adjusted. How did you feel about the cornerback depth when Chris was off the field? Uh, I mean, you look up, we play five guys, you know, and it wasn't really no difference when any of those five guys was out there and they all contribute and they all play really well today. What was the sideline like after the pick six from Greg Johnson? Uh, well, I don't know because I was in the box, oh, but yeah, it, <laughs> it was it, yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> I, I, I can guarantee you with some of the guys we got on our sideline, coaches wise and players wise, I'm pretty sure it was juiced up, especially it's good to see Greg make a play like that. You know, L.A. kid, you know, he's playing first game of the season, changed his number and everything goes. So that's a big time play, changed momentum of the game. Yeah, it felt like it changed the momentum. I mean, did that give the whole defense a spark, the whole team a spark? I, I think it did. You know, you know, you always sometimes you, you hope it for a play, right? But you never want to sit there and just hope on that, right? But he stepped up. It was a great call by Coach Orlando on the down and distance and you know what came and Greg made the play. Do you feel pressure sometimes when the offense just is kind of struggling and you guys have to keep going out there and make it stop after no, stop? No, it's, we're a team. So, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some days where, you know, we struggle and vice versa, and they're going to put up 56. So it's never a struggle. We're all in this together. Well, I'm looking at Bill, what are you not pleased with? Uh, you know, some of our tackles were too high and different things like that. But at the same time, you know, just for, for my group in general, just a couple of times we got beat inside when that shouldn't happen. We were just so far on top of the guy. And, you know, uh, I guess we were showing so much respect to guys that I feel that we can do what we need to do against them. So uh, we just got to be some corrections that we'll make, definitely. Did Josh think he had that pick? Uh, I thought he even had that pick. So, you know, uh, I'm going to watch the replay. And, but for me, he has one interception on the season. How <laughs> did you see him replay? Um, I thought he got it, but you know the, he shows his body from the from from the ground, so you couldn't really see it. But I thought he got underneath it. But I mean, that's the receiver skills. He knows how to sell it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.